hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is charmaine and today you we are going to be sublimating this nice little leather mouse pad okay it's a pu leather mouse pad i do have these on my website um this image i got i made this image up before so i can list the link below but i made this for a puzzle so and i don't have it next to me but yeah i made a puzzle so I'm not going to do all that today because I already have image. I like this image, so I'm going to go ahead and make a mouse pad for myself. I think it's pretty. Okay? I will show y'all the fan. I mean, I will show y'all the puzzle, but I don't know what I did with it. I found it. Here's the puzzle I did. Okay? So check out that video of how I put this image together. Okay? These um, SVGs together. And yes, they came from Feathers of Style. Okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to be a quick, quick video because I just want to show y'all how to do this. I had a, um, one of my subscribers, one of my members in my group. If you don't know about my group, my group is called Brown Girls Cry for Cricket. She wanted to know how to um, sublimate a mouse pad because she bought one of these from my um, website. This is my first time doing a mouse pad, so hopefully I have the right temperature and time. If I don't, you will see and you can fix it if it's wrong. <laughs> okay, so what I did was this is eight and a half, 11, eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, I use the um, a, a sub paper. I love the a sub paper, even though you can use other printer paper, but I just love the way a sub paper works. Okay, it's a great detail, so I love it. So um, I have a seventy seven ten Epson printer, and what I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to side edit because what I need to, I should have cut this. I, I'm using silhouettes, so I'm still learning, and I forgot how to modify this to a circle. So I'm just gonna have to cut around this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just basically size this up to make so I so I know that it's fitting here. But you could make this a circle in silhouette, but I'm still learning. So yeah. So this body is gonna be halfway out of this, but it's okay. I like it's gonna be okay. Okay, because I just forgot how to modify. I tried to do it before I got on the video and I was stuck. So one day I learned silhouette. One day I learned. So I modified stuff before, but I just forgot how to do it. I got so many things I'm learning that I'm doing. I'm learning how to do the I got the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Explorer, the Cameo. So, with so many different things I got to remember and not forget how to use it. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to make sure these letters are inside this mouse pad. What I'm do is tape this. If you want to, you can cut it if you want to, but I'm not going to cut it. It's going to go ahead and use whatever. I'll pick it up so it won't go in a... Go ahead and put the tape like this. We can stay let me make sure this these letters are in here yep they're all in there like i said i've done the leather keychain before on the same temperature so we're going to see if this mouse pad is going to work on this on 385 for 60 seconds okay if it don't work i'm gonna be mad y'all if you like the content of this video please hit the red bell so you can be notified when i do new videos and subscribe to my channel and please share this video if you think this will be helpful to any of your other crafting friends. Also, please give it a thumbs up. I'm affiliated with Amazon. So if you click on any link below, anything you purchase from those links, the um, money will go towards my channel with no extra purchase, no extra cost to you. Also, check out the um, clip art link below. It's Spell M-U-J-K-A, cliparts.com. Right now, you can save 20% off. You can get 20% off your total price if you click on the link below. Let me just see, y'all, because I'm scared. Okay, let's see. Let's go put <laughs> I got a little glimpse of it. It looks kind of good so far, so let's go ahead and... Oh, my God, y'all. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm so happy that it worked because I was scared. So yes, to my my um one of my members that wanted to know, yes, 400 for 600, 400 degrees for 60 seconds will work. But like I said, this is a really big heat press. I got a heat press nation and I use 385 for 60 seconds, okay? And it's beautiful. So it works, y'all. I love it. That is a really pretty nice picture. And it fit well on the um mouse pad. Even though the body's cut off, it still look good. Beautiful. And I like these better. This leather is much better than the other left, um, mouse pads. So I'm going to really start ordering more of these. I have a square one, too. I have some square ones and circle ones. So check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. I'm going to order these. And I do sell them as wholesale price. That is beautiful. I love it. 
So yes, this video was very, 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 very short. Um, let me show you some other things I was working on since this video was so very, very short. <laughs> um, if you're into sublimation, I just got these in. So these are the glitter passports. These are really cute. And this would be the same time and temperature because they are the leather too. But they're glitter on the back. Aren't they beautiful? They're the pink, the gold. I have them in the right stock right now. But they might not be in stock when you get to this video because I sell out really quick. So hopefully I have them in stock. And it has a little, um, these cute little um belts to go with it. Little leather straps to go with it, okay? They are very cute. Let's see what else I have to talk about. Because like I said, this video is so short. Um, I have these wallets, so they made on these two, okay, on my website, check out my, um, sublimation group, sublimation blanks and creations on Facebook, I sublimate these also, also had a fan, the puzzle, um, and also, I want to show y'all real quick the videos, if you missed the videos before this, I did just sublimate on fabric, this is a canvas. Yes, it's kind of messy on the back. I got to clean it up. But this is a sublimation on fabric. And then I just stapled it to a, um, a, a, a canvas. And I also did a few more things. I also sublimated on a canvas with lamination paper. So check that video out. I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. I did this one also. Okay. What else have I got? What else have I done? Um... I've been on the road, y'all. Oh, I have a um, poster that I'm going to be doing, too. I could do that right now, but I didn't get the image together yet, so I don't have an image, so I can't do it now. This video is so short, but I will be doing this coaster. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the same um, same time attempt. You know what? I might go ahead and do this coaster real quick. Just give me a second, and I'm going to get an image, and I'll be back to do this coaster. Okay, I got my image together. There it is. And yes, like I told you, it would have been nice for me to um get a <laughs> match the coaster with the mouse pad to put on my desk at work. But I told y'all, I do not I forgot how to modify to crop this to make it smaller. I mean, to make it a circle. Okay, so this wouldn't have worked because I don't I forgot how to modify. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm still learning silhouette, so I couldn't have cropped it to make it this. But I could have put it in um I could have put it in Cricut and did it. I know I do it with Cricut, but I just didn't want to um waste too much time trying to figure out how to do the images i can just go ahead and throw this image on there this is an image i got from google it's free i did a four by four and this right here is three and a half by three and a half coaster and i just made the picture a little bit bigger a four by four and i'm going to just basically put it around her face let's see get as much as i can get in here you can measure it i it the way you want to how you want to do it this is how i'm going to do it okay so i'm just going to get some tape so it won't move and this is a little bit thicker than the mouse pad. So we're gonna see how my how it goes. Cause this 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 thing right here is so hard to um figure out as far as the pressure and stuff. So we're gonna see how it's gonna work, y'all. We're gonna pray that it's gonna work today. <laughs> I don't feel like fooling with it. I'm messing around with it. This will be a long time to figure out this setting that I have it on now for my regular projects, okay? So that's it right there. Let me get some more paper. Put on top of it. Yeah, that was a really bad cutting. <laughs> as long as it covered that image, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and push it in. And hope it's not too tight. But it is kind of thick. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to do this. And when I come back, we're going to see how it rolls. How it goes. Let me know what y'all want to see me. What any image. Let me know what projects you want me to do. More tutorials. Let me know. I have the Cricut Joy, I have the Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer 2, Cameo, I have the Physic Machine, I have the um the machine to um I can't think of the name of it, but it, it makes the journals and stuff. I have so much stuff, y'all. And I need to I got the button machine. I got um a few more things coming in, the little small button things you can make earrings with, and the little um the earrings and something that you can make with them. They're smaller because I do have the big butt machine, but I got the other ones coming in Amazon soon. I'm going to let it go a little bit. I'm going to let it come up. I don't want to do it the whole... I came up eight minutes, eight seconds before the bell rung. And I did good, y'all. I did good. 
yes, I see. It would have been okay though if I would have went on here and went through the um full, but I just don't want to burn it. And that was perfect, y'all. That is like bubble gum. That is, I mean, it just looks like so pretty and so colorful. That is beautiful. And I might just go ahead and make. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I might make me a mouse pad to match that and put it on my desk at work. But look at that. Them colors are banging, and I like it. Like I said, because I'm using that ASA paper. The other paper is good, but you can tell the difference between A sub. And even though A sub is expensive, I would still buy it because I know the difference of how it looks um, from the regular other paper I was telling y'all about. I'm going to show you the paper I'm telling y'all about in a minute. Hold on. I'm going to go get it for y'all. But this is banging. This is so cute. I don't mind paying the extra money. Even though, yes, it is expensive, so it depends on how much you, how, how your money is. But for better quality, I don't mind buying the A sub paper. Let me show you real quick. I did a comparison of on mugs, okay, on coffee mugs, and I, and I basically sublimated them. This with the same paper with the Asa paper. This eight and a half by eleven. You also can get it eleven by seventeen and thirteen by nineteen. And all these paper, all these paper, these size papers, you can print them in your, you can print them out on your Epson printer, okay. Both of them, the seventy seven ten and the seventy seven twenty. And I have both of them. I have one for my pigment ink, and I have one for my sublimation ink. And this is other paper you can use, hammer mill paper, um. It's really good. I like it, but I can tell the difference. So I'm stuck on sublimation. I'm stuck on A sub. It is expensive. This right here is eight dollars. Okay, <laughs> eight dollars compared to twenty dollars. Which one would you do? Uh, duh, you would do this right. But I just, I love the quality. Okay, but I have a whole lot of this, and I still use it if I'm just playing around and stuff. I use this, or you know, different things that I know, like t-shirts. I probably use A sub. Mugs, I use A sub. <laughs> I don't know. I just use A sub everything. But if I'm Playing around my <laughs> with different stuff for myself, I use this. Okay, if I'm if I'm if I'm um selling it, I'm sick with it. So it's not a real big difference, y'all. But believe me, y'all will see the difference if y'all try it. Just try it, or I have a video too that shows you the difference. It's just basically the pigment, the colors just pops more with the Asa. Okay, let's see if this video is longer than now. It's 16 minutes long, so I guess I can get out of here. Um, I appreciate you all um su supporting me and watching my channels. Give me thumbs up. I can turn this heat press off now because I done did so many things. I think I'm going to cut it off because I done did like five projects with this, this tonight. So, you will see all those videos pop up. And, um, thanks for watching and keep supporting me. I love it. And I keep on bringing you new stuff every week. Have a blessed day.